everybody welcome to mary's make shop so for my first project with the centroid acorn i wanted to create these wooden mittens out of walnut so this is a three-part series this is the first part but through the whole series i'll be showing you everything from sketching it to cutting it and finishing it and in this video i'll be showing you how to sketch it in autodesk fusion 360 exporting it using the centroid post processor and loading it and graphing it in cnc 12 mil so to create the mint in Fusion 360, the first thing I did was an attached canvas, and I just found an image online of a mitten. And using the attached canvas, it allows you to put that on a planar surface so that you could sketch around it. So I just used arcs, ellipses, and splines, and I got this pretty nice sketch. I didn't follow it, it exactly, made the thumb a little bit longer and this arc here a little bit deeper, but overall definitely looks like a mitten. I then extruded that to get this 3D image. Um, which I want to cut out of walnut. So, a lot, I mean, really, attached canvas allowed me to make this in under three minutes. So, then in the cam space, as always, starting with your setup, um, making sure your X, Y, and Z axes are in the correct orientation and making sure the Z axis is facing up from the machining plane. So, then for my toolpath, I selected a 2D contour. I used a quarter inch flat end mill and I just disabled the coolant because I don't have it in my setup. Um, my spindle speed's 12,000 RPM. There's a couple other things that I changed uh, that were specific to my setup. And then for the geometry, I just selected the outer perimeter of my mitten. For my heights, I just made sure the dependencies were correct. And then actually for the bottom height, um, even though my piece is only three quarters of an inch thick, I made that 0.9 because I put a little slab of uh, masonite underneath and I wanted the cut to go through the walnut into the masonite so it would really just, you know, pop out of, of my cut. So then um, for my passes, I select multiple depths so that it would just go down for the, the length to the, to the bottom height. So you can see our tool pass. Um, yeah, you can also see there that it's actually going below the part into my masonite. So that looks great. You do a little simulation. There it is, cutting out the shape of the mitten. We'll just do the first pass. So now I'm gonna go into post-processing and Centroid has their own post configuration. So make sure you select that. Um, you can figure out where you wanna output it to the program name. After that, you're just gonna hit post, um, then figure out where you're gonna save it. I'm just gonna save it to my downloads and I'm gonna rename it mitten left or left mitten. And now the G code's gonna pop up. So if you wanted to check to make sure some command was there, you could. But now we're just gonna get out of that and open up the CNC 12 mil software. And now we're gonna load our file in downloads, looking for left mitten. You can see up by job name that it, it's been loaded. So now we can actually graph that and nothing's popping up and that's because my feed rate is set to 1%, so that's how fast it draws it. Um, so if we speed that up, you can see the shape of the mitten, or you can just hit 100%. You can also view, it's a nice 3D view of the mitten. Um, you can also do right view. This is a really great place to see if your heights are correct, and I can see that that's around 0.9 inches. So front view as well. Another thing that you can do is by using this feed rate, you can really slow it down and you can even see, you know, line by line in the G code um, what it's cutting and, and really where the cutter is. So just by, you know, I'm going to put this feed rate at like 1%. I'm going to switch to the right view. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. You can see kind of, kind of the layer by layer. Now if I go down enough, I'll be able to see it just inching through right there. Now let's say that you saw, you know, at this point that something crazy happened. You can actually look up here, see what line that is, 4,444, and then go into the edit, and then I'm just gonna scroll down and find that line, or you could search it, either way. And by finding 4,444, you can see not only, you know, what the G code is and, and what the commands are, but you can also change it real time in this file so let's say you know i wanted to change the x1 to 30 35 or something 
I can save that and it's already loaded into the CNC 12 mil software. So you're up and running with your fixed you know, file, no need to really upload or export anything else. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching part one. Check out part two if you want to see how to mount um, your workpiece and then also a technique to vacuum up the wood shavings or material shavings as you're milling. Any comments, feedback, please leave in the comments below. Thanks so much and catch you on the next one.